Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have the Samsung Galaxy A7, the 2016 edition. And in this video, we'll be doing the unboxing. And this Galaxy A7 2016 edition adds a fingerprint scanner and it also has optical image stabilization. And this is a, a retail unit. And as you can see, it was uh, made in India. So it's manufactured in India. And regarding the pricing, uh, the price quoted on the box is 36,000, uh, but uh, the MRP, uh, price in india it's going to be available for 33400 and i feel that is a high price but generally samsung phones initially uh, do have that premium so you are going to pay a premium for this device and uh, on the box it says that it has a octocore processor 4g lte and it also supports fast charging and uh, this Galaxy A7 comes in two processor variants. One is the Snapdragon 615 and other is the Exynos. Uh, the one we have in India uh, that is going to be sold in India officially has the Exynos processor. So let's just open the seal and it, again you have to activate it with the Indian SIM card. So let me just open the box now. So here we have the uh, Galaxy A7 itself. Let's just take that out. Uh, initial impressions look sleek at this uh, color at least and uh, just as you can see looks uh, nice and uh, if we go down we have the sim ejector tool uh, quick start guide uh, the layout uh, of the box has changed uh, this is the micro usb cable we also get a uh, earphones and uh, these are in-ear type uh, earphones with buttons to adjust the volume and also a button to take or end calls so here is the charger itself and yes it's a fast charger it can output both at 5 volts and at 9 volts at 9 volts it's 1.67 amps and at 5 volts it's a 2 amp charger so this is a fast charger so let me keep these things to the side and then we'll have a look at the device itself so this is the galaxy uh, a7 2016 edition let me take out this plastic and uh, and I have to say, uh, just like the Galaxy S6, the back is also now glass, so you will hate it or you'll just love it, but feels premium. And it sports a 5.5 inch screen, uh, which is a 1080p AMOLED screen. And let me try to power it on. Again, it says A7 and 6 denotes that it's the 2016 edition. Uh, let me give you a physical overview. Uh, on the top, we have the uh, slot for the SIM tray. Uh, secondary noise cancellation microphone uh, we have the power button over here again one more slot over here we'll just open that and see and on the bottom microphone um, the main speaker micro usb uh, slot that will be used for charging the 3.5 mm headphone jack and on this end we have the volume rocker i'll just quickly just set this up and then we'll continue the Samsung Galaxy A7 2016 edition uh, sports a 5.5 inch Super AMOLED screen with a 1080p resolution. It is powered by the Exynos 7580 octa-core chipset clocked at 1.6 GHz. It has the Mali T720 GPU, 3 GB of RAM, 16 GB of internal storage, micro SD card slot, a 30 megapixel rear facing camera with f1.9 lens with optical image stabilization. Moving to the front facing camera, it's a 5 megapixel shooter. It also has a fingerprint scan and a 3300 milliamp hour battery so i have just completed the setup and it also has a fingerprint sensor so you can just tap on it and it unlocks uh, just like the galaxy s6 you don't have to swipe you just need to tap on it and it unlocks and regarding the sim slots uh, this exynos uh, variant has uh, proper sim slots the one on the top is actually the uh, sim slot 2 you can add your secondary sim over here and uh, uh, your primary sim card will actually go over here and you can also add a micro sd card so you can add two sim cards and a micro sd card uh, so that is uh, uh, interesting and let's just unlock and again uh, this is the first boot i haven't uh, done anything i've just set it up so let's look at the android version uh, we do have uh, auto brightness and uh, let's uh, look at about the device as you can see it is uh, having the android version 5.1.1 uh, so still on lollipop the uh, uh, samsung hasn't updated their existing devices on marshmallow but i hope this one uh, will also get the marshmallow soon and regarding the storage uh, it is sad to see that samsung is still bundling 16 gigabytes of internal storage and out of the 16 gigabytes you get 10.82 uh, gigabytes free 
uh, we can also add a micro SD card. But seeing the pricing of this device, Samsung should have given 32 gigabytes of internal storage in my frank opinion. And again, uh, if you have used other Samsung devices, as you can see, the UI is almost the same. Uh, let me change the wallpaper. And uh, we have theme support, as you can see. So you can change uh, that. We have themes. Let's change the wallpaper. Let's try this one. A much more vibrant one, as you can see. So you have the theme support. And... Uh, yeah we have a theme uh, theme store so you can actually download the themes uh, just one is pre-installed and uh, again we have that bloatware that is flipboard so typical samsung and uh, samsung is also bundling uh, the office suit uh, with this one so uh, we also get fm radio so that is one thing if you listen to a lot of radio that is there uh, we also have some apps that are pre-installed like the mix radio and the opera max so those things are uh, still there and we also have the s health so that is interesting uh, so looks like uh, it might have the pedometer functionality uh, so let's also fire up the web browser let's open up this chrome web browser now this is the default keyboard that we get uh, we get a number row And the in-hand feel is nice. Uh, uh, it feels like a solid device. Again, it has that three gigabytes of RAM and the Exynos processor should be able to handle everything we throw at it. I have to just check how will it perform in gaming uh, because of that Mali T720 GPU. But as of now, as you can see, it is responsive and the screen quality also is actually uh, really good. Though it's just a 1080p screen, but the quality, the AMOLED panel is good. Uh, let's also quickly look at the camera. Uh, Samsung says it's a 13 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization. So I'll just cancel all these settings. And again, this is the camera interface that we saw with the Galaxy S6 uh, and other Samsung devices. So that's not changed a lot. So we have the tap to focus. And uh, by default, it's in the 16 by 9. If you want the native resolution, it goes down to 4 by 3 ratio. So in widescreen, it's 9. Uh, 6 megapixel so I just took these two snaps let's look at it let me zoom this text and as you can see uh, the text is sharp even when I zoom in so it looks like the camera performance should be good obviously it has optical image stabilization so that should help and let's go to the settings and in terms of video uh, it does not have 4k video support so the maximum is 1080p in terms of video again i'll uh, do a lot more testing with the camera and i'll post that in my full review but initial impressions the camera looks to be uh, good the front facing camera is a 5 megapixel shooter so guys that's it for now for this uh, unboxing and overview for this samsung galaxy a7 if you have any specific questions around this device do post them in the youtube comments and i'll try to include them in my review thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video